let's move into our NFL Week 10 official gambling picks. We'll uh, we'll go, you know, snake draft, not snake draft, but we'll snake it. I'll, uh, I will start us off. Uh, we each do five picks every week for the NFL. And my first gambling pick, Jags at the Packers. Give me the Packers minus 13. I think they are going to roll this Jaguars team. Uh, I, I think the Packers have got things back rolling again. They're getting ready to start feeling good about themselves, start getting back into a few more division games and whatnot. Jags are the perfect warm-up. I think they're going to smoke these dudes. So, give me the pack. I'm going to take the Titans as a pick em now against the Colts. I, I think the, the, the Colts' reign over this Titans team is over. I believe that they are the better football team. I believe they have the better quarterback. And I think that they do enough things on defense to um, cause Phillip Rivers problems without having to put pressure on him. Yep. Give me the Titans. I, I like that pick. I was too scared of it because of everything that's happened in the past. But I'm glad you took it. I'm glad you took it. Um, I'm rolling Bengals plus eight at the Steelers. Again, Steelers don't beat anybody by by more than a touchdown if they even do that, uh, at at most, I think the Steelers win by like a field goal here, maybe a touchdown if it's defensive. But I I think Burrow is pretty smart with the football. I'm uh, I'm rolling Bengals here. I, I think they got a yeah. chance to win this football game. Nope, Bengals plus eight's the play. I think the Bengals can win the game. Uh, third pick, I'm taking Seahawks. Seahawks plus two at the Rams. I think they win this game outright. I think they're the better football team. I think Russell Wilson gets right here. Uh, I understand everybody's terrified of Aaron Darnold. I, I get it, right? Everybody everybody understands that. Uh, Aaron Donald, not not, not Sam Darnold, uh, but you get the point. I, I do think the Seahawks do enough on offense to be able to put up enough points that they are going to win this football game. Uh, defense, still got to get right, all the good stuff. If you're going to get right, I think the quarterback to do it against would be Jared Goff. Like, I understand he's looked good in some games, but uh, I think the Seahawks do enough to be able to pull out this win. Give me the Sea Chickens plus two. Aaron Darnold cannot cover DK, cannot cover Lockett. Nothing he can do about it. Sorry. You got it. You got it. Uh, I'm rolling Dolphins minus two and a half, and I know like it, the whole world is on the Dolphins right now, but I do think that they are the better football team here. They are the team that is still in the playoff race. I think that they find a way to get this thing done. Tua got in his groove last week. I think he'll do the same thing this week. I like their offensive line here. Even with Ingram and Bosa playing, I think that they do enough to slow those guys down to allow Tua to get the ball out of his hands. He is... He's got a quick release, man. He's super fast getting that thing out, and and I think that helps him a lot in this situation. Bounce back game for Tampa Bay. Give me the Bucks minus five at the Panthers. I think they're going to bounce back. I think they're going to win the game. I think they're going to win it handily. And it took an colossal, colossal collapse for them to get beat the way they got beat by the Saints. I like this Panthers team. Don't get me wrong. Not a knock on them at all. This ain't the Saints, though. They don't have the talent the Saints do. Give me the bucks. I, I like your thinking there. Uh, last game for me, Monday Night Football. I'm going Chicago. I can get a three out there right now. Give me the Bears plus three at home. I think they can win this game. I think they slow down Dalvin Cook. And when you slow down Dalvin Cook, that is the security blanket. That is the offense. If you slow him down, all of a sudden, Kirk Cousins has all the pressure on him. I don't think he can get it done against this Bears defense. You're going to see at least one defensive touchdown from the Bears, and I think more. Uh, I called this... I called my spot last year in this game. Uh, Eddie Jackson gets an interception return touchdown. Like, I I think this is the spot for him, and I know that's crazy, but whatever that prop bet is, I'm going to go find it. It's probably plus 1,000, plus whatever. But uh, but I think that that's what ends up happening. I think the Bears' defense is good enough to win this football game, and I think they will. There you go. My last game, look, I've, I've shit on for the last couple of weeks. They've deserved every bit of that shit, by the way. But give me my Browns minus three. Listen, when they can run the football, they can dominate teams, not just beat them, dominate them. There's no reason they won't be able to run all over the Houston Texans. Texans are a bad football team. They just are. They just Texas, are. Texas can't stop the run. That's that's this is this is this is why this is the spot where you take the Browns. If you can stop the runs, you get as far away from the Browns as possible. If you can't stop the run, you play the Browns because they are going to run it down your throat forever. I think the Browns and the Vikings are almost exactly the same. Yeah. Uh, Someone said Mayfield's yeah. out of COVID. I wish he wasn't. Okay. Yeah, but he, I wish he, he wasn't. <laughs> I want one full week. All I want is one full week of Case to be able to practice with the ones, game plan around him. And I just want to see 
can we throw the football then? That's all I want. I want one week of practice with Case running the offense to build it around him to see, can he be better than Baker? Because Baker's bad. Flat ass bad. Uh, Browns win easy. Hail Kareem Hunt, said Casey K. Yeah. <laughs> That's, yeah, 100%. 100%. So, I, I like uh, I like all your picks this week. I like all my picks this week. I think we're going 10-0. I feel good about well, it. Well, last week we both went 4-1. and one. Yeah, we went 4-1 and one each last well, week. So That's pretty damn strong. Moving in the right direction. Moving in the right direction. Ryan Kennedy said Chubb might be back. Even if he's not, doesn't matter. I, I don't know that Chubb's coming back this week, but I would love for him to be back. Love for him to be back. Oh, this is a great, great defense to get healthy on. You have got that right, my friend. You have got that right. All right, is there anything else that we need to hit today? That's it, brother. Let's get out of here. You guys go check out winningcureseverything.com. Do us that favor. You can subscribe everywhere you need to be subscribed. The live show, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, right here on YouTube, Periscope, Twitch, and Facebook. Of course, you can go get the podcast. We do a show on Sundays and Thursdays there, along with all of these show that, the shows that we do live. Those go up immediately after the show. Um, but, yeah, we, we do a Sunday uh, college football recap and a Thursday college football viewing guide to kind of give you an idea of what's coming up. Uh, that coming weekend. So we will have one out tomorrow, but those are podcast exclusive. We don't do them on the YouTube or or whatever else. No videos. And make sense some more said hit the like. Yeah, hit the like button for us if you're on YouTube or Facebook or whatever. Hit that like button. Share the show out. Tell your friends about it. Leave some comments. Let us know what your picks are, of course. We want to know what, uh, what games you got this week, what you're rolling with. We would love to hear it. So with that said, uh, oh, go over to sbrpicks.com slash NCAAF. Our articles, uh, I believe, are already up. If not, they'll be up tomorrow morning for our college football picks, all that good stuff. Um, Damien said, we're not winning. I don't know what he's talking about. He's I mean, talking about the Bears. Oh, oh, get out of here. Get out of here. I'm all over the Bears. Rolling with the Bears this week. Uh, Casey said, later players. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We're getting out of here. Go to sbrpicks.com slash NCAAF. Go to SBR Picks on YouTube. That is where all of our college football content and our picks for the week are found as well. Um, let's see. What else am I missing? I think that's it. Oh, the Murder Hornet shirts. They're up on the site. WinningCuresEverything.com. Go to the store. Go check it out. Go buy yourself a shirt, T-shirt. Wear that thing around. Wear it proudly. Show everybody what you got. Uh, with that said, you guys take care of yourself. Take care of each other. Let's cash some tickets. Thanks for checking out Winning Cures Everything. If you want to keep up with us, hit subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. Visit the website at winningcureseverything.com or you can like us on Facebook or follow us at Winning Cures, at Gary WCE, or at Chris B. Giannini on Twitter. Share out the show, leave a nice review, and make sure to comment and tweet at us.